I would like to start by apologising to the Leader of the Opposition for the short notice he has had of this statement. I received an important update in the hour before making this statement, which I felt was essential to bring to the attention of the House this morning. Mr Speaker, what happened in the early hours of last Wednesday morning was one of the most unimaginable tragedies our country has seen in many years. As of this morning, 79 people have been confirmed dead or listed as missing, presumed dead, and with work still ongoing to recover the bodies, sadly the death toll may rise further. We already know that many children are among the dead, and that in some cases whole families perished. And those who survived have lost loved ones, friends, neighbours, and in many cases, everything they own. Mr Speaker, it should never have happened. But please don't turn your understandable distress and your anger on behalf of My other people. for these distress behalf, people. Your anger on behalf of other people into an opportunity to... Um, to what? Well, well, one of the things I'm concerned about... What do you think I'm doing? Um, one of the things I'm concerned about is making sure that our response to this puts the victims first. And one of the ways in which we can ensure that we put the victims first is by responding at speed, yes, but with calmness and not... Our fire and not, No, no, Piers. Yeah, we can keep talking. I can put another thing to you. Our, yeah, fire, will, our fire service yes. did a brilliant job on Wednesday, right? They saved the fire fires. They are absolute heroes. They also had no equipment that could get to the higher levels of this tower. As a matter of urgency, given there are thousands of other towers like this, any of which could go up in flames at any moment if this cladding is on them, right? Are we going to provide our emergency services with new equipment or new ways of tackling a high-rise fire in light of the fact that they clearly were incapable of getting to the top floors to save people's lives? The, um, the fire service will get everything they absolutely need at all. They absolutely need to deal with the situation. But the point that I was trying to make earlier is that all of us will be helped if we conduct this debate. Obviously, fired by a sense of, you know, anger at what's happening, but also a sense of proportion. And one of the things that I would say as well is, is that it's important as we look at what's happened to get to the right answers. You make a point about sprinkler systems, it's a fair one. But um, the, the determination to get to the heart of things that I have and other ministers have is one that manifests itself by talking to people on the ground getting to the heart of the situation. And as I mentioned earlier, it doesn't help anyone if we allow, understandable though it is, emotion to cloud reason well, at yeah, this okay. point. The emotion is anger on behalf of these poor people who lost their lives. And do you think I don't feel that? No, I'm, I'm sure you do, but you're, unfortunately, unlike me, you're in a position to do something about and this I am. again. Philip Hammond and said... And you're in a position to do something about it as well. Correct. Philip you Philip have Hammond. a responsibility. Right. Here's my you responsibility. have a responsibility and others have a responsibility, yeah, responsibility. to look coolly yeah. at this situation Actually, you know what? and not to try to be yeah, the... You know what? You can stick your coolness where the sun don't shine. I don't feel cool about this. I feel very angry about these people. So I feel very angry like about this. the other other people currently living in terror that this may happen to their tower blocks. Philip Hammond said yesterday categorically... Okay. Yes, I don't think that language like that is appropriate when we refer to... I don't give a damn what you think. Don't you? No. I don't. Well, why do you invite me on your program? Because if you're going to just say, I, I've got no right to feel passionate or angry or emotional about this, I don't give a damn whether you think I've got the right to do that. This is a big a total disgrace. Philip Hammond said yesterday that categorically the cladding that had been